I went into this movie thinking it would be another Pride and Prejudice-esque endeavor, but was presently surprised at how real and unique all the characters were. Set during the burdening age of enlightenment, the three main figures, King Christian VII, his wife Caroline, and his physician Johann, are all desperately seeking freedom. This ranges from freedom for the masses, in Johann's case, and freedom to just be themselves for Caroline and Christian. Christian is one of the most interesting characters I've seen in a period piece like this, but all of them make the movie worth the price of admission. As someone who usually dislikes movies about royalty complaining about their lives, a royal affair definitely left me wanting more. So what'd you think? I really liked it. Just like you said earlier, I went into it thinking that it would be kind of like Pride and Prejudice, you know, oh, Mr. Darcy, and junk like that. Yeah. But it really wasn't. It really, I was engrossed in it, and it's all in subtitles. There's not like a lick of English. And yeah. you forget that it's, you know, not your, my, at least my native language, and you just get so sucked into like the fact that there's a story, you don't even recognize that it's not in English. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't realize going into it exactly that it was going to be directly like pulled from history at all. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing to tie into, because like I said before, and you thought the same thing that we've seen so many of these like, all these like royal people yeah. dressed up and like <laughs> complaining about stuff that no oh, one here culture. really cares yeah. about. But I thought this like did a good job and actually presented some interesting and, and like new characters that mm -hmm. we really haven't seen before. What's really cool about this film though is that it's Denmark's you know foreign language submission, mm -hmm. and I think it's totally Oscar worthy. Like, yeah, the characters because all of them are just so raw. They haven't really you know been jaded by any other you know types of movies they've been in at all. Mm -hmm. And especially Christian, like he's never been in anything else but but this, and so he's definitely a performance I'd say to check out. Yeah, and like even though you know that. You, because you know history, it's not going to end with like everyone being happy. Because it's like, <laughs> it's not like political upturn does not just happen. To be like, oh, everyone's good. Like time to go home. <laughs> we changed history. It's called the Dark Ages for a reason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But <laughs> still going into that, you still like you get swept up in these characters and even ones that kind of like disappear and come back, and you don't really know like who exactly to focus on. It's still a very like enthralling story. I definitely. Yeah, definitely. Think. So what's your favorite period piece movie? Answer in the comment section below and we'll see you next time on The Price of Admission.